Welcome back guys to the video. So we've all seen a bunch of EV stocks just absolutely dump. You got Tesla, it just took an absolute dump. You got Workhorse, which took a very big dump. And then you got Shill, which is Hylion, which took one of the fattest dumps. It was like a $31 price tag, $33 price tag. Now it's at $18, almost $15. Bucks. It's almost like a 50% loss. And then you got Neo also taking a major dump, but not as bad as the other ones. So I'll be going through all the different companies and whether or not you should be buying them. Now, keep in mind that EB hype is pretty much over. Let's talk about Tesla for now before we get started definitely check out the discord server link description below the mods and admins do a pretty good job and keeping the discord very nice and clean and filled with information and also check out weeble two free stocks when you sign up in the description code below and also deposit 100 bucks make a brokerage account you get two free stocks it's literally free money so tesla so far it's doing pretty good like keep in mind that these couple of weeks there wasn't any bad news about tesla it's not like their model 3s got absolutely trash it's not like one of their plants got shut down or something really big happened to elon musk no in fact everything is on schedule and on point and very good but it's because the stock was going up too much because of the major ev hype in fact tesla was hovering at the 900 to 1000 dollar mark for a very very long time and just recently did it start shooting up it went all the way up to $1,700, almost $1,800 at one point on July 13th. Took a huge dump. It was at $1,500 for a very long time. Earnings was really good. It was like the fourth consecutive quarter of actually making money for Tesla. You can see one, two, three, four. It's really good. And it's been taking a huge hit and it's dumping already. The after hours doesn't look hot at all. It's negative 1%. I'm honestly thinking the shorts are actually winning this time, especially with a $20 billion short position, the biggest ever in Tesla. Now, Tesla, you do have the Berlin Gigafactory. They're trying to work that out as well. Elon also teased some images of the Berlin factory. You also have Austin, which is going to be probably the next Tesla Gigafactory, cranking out the cyber trucks and the roadsters. And they're having a really, really good tax break which is pretty good for Tesla. Keep in mind that the Shanghai Gigafactory is still cranking out cars. Quarter two, Tesla delivered about 88,000 vehicles, which is really good. And the really crazy thing is Tesla, during earnings, it had really good earnings. It was up 5% that day, but it ended the day at negative 5%. Do you know why? It's because Tesla is way too high, in my opinion. I hate quoting Elon Musk, but honestly, if you really think about it, the stock has been on an absolute frenzy. It's been going up with virtually like not as much hype information as we needed to. It's mostly the EV hype, like right? due to the fact that everyone just started realizing electric cars could be the future. Virtually every electric stock started going up. Tesla is a really good stock, honestly. If you guys want to hold something long term, Tesla is by far the best electric vehicle stock out there. The crazy thing is they're trying to rebrand themselves other than just electric car manufacturer. They want to become an electric energy guy as well. And their cars are pretty good. You know, everything's on point. They're trying to make a bunch of different vehicles. They're trying their best. And so far, Tesla is just being Tesla. There's nothing bad about what's going on the over company. So I highly recommend the stock. I really do feel like this whole sell-off is simply be because like those huge amounts of hype and obviously people want to grab profits and if you look at tesla like eighteen hundred dollars is a little bit high i feel like tesla might keep dropping to maybe thirteen hundred dollars even twelve hundred dollars and then it will start going up especially with tesla trying to roll out the robo taxis which is their autonomous vehicle sector it's gonna be really big people can actually make money from the teslas if you're telling me i can make money from my investment of a luxury vehicle i'll definitely buy a tesla so with the robo taxi network coming out in late 2020 according to elon on twitter tesla stock will definitely go to the moon i also made several videos about why i like tesla stock so much and how they differentiate themselves away from other manufacturers therefore giving it an almost 300 billion dollar market cap the biggest car manufacturer in the world by valuation then you got workhorse now, this one's a little bit different, especially how Workhorse mostly makes these C-series vehicles. These are pretty much logistic vehicles. I mean, you won't really buy these vehicles to drive around for fun. So eventually, you do have major trucks that eventually dock to these trucking facilities in major cities. And then the goods get unloaded and put in these smaller trucks. You probably have seen a lot of FedEx and UPS trucks. It's very similar to these bread-like shapes. These vehicles eventually go to your neighborhood and deliver the goods to your front door. And the cool thing is these are pretty much fully electric. Now, Workhorse is doing really well, especially how landing a pretty big contract. You see, I mean, Workhorse is working on UPS. 
you know, FedEx, they're trying to work for everyone, trying to sell their electric vehicles. They already received the safety certification from the US. So they're already good to actually start selling the cars. They do have 10% stake in Lordstown Motors, which I should definitely recommend. They're also making their own electric truck, which actually looks like a truck, unlike the cyber truck. And yeah, Lordstown Motors is already trying to get their factory set up and cranking out the cars. Workhorse owns 10%. Workhorse also has their own factory cranking out the C vehicles, the C65 and also the C1000. And so far, this is a really good vehicle and Workhorse stock has went all the way up to $21 from a mere penny stock price. And now it has calmed down to around $15. Market cap is $1.38 billion. So I really do feel like Workhorse could be really good in the long term because virtually all the other logistic companies and also like Tesla, Nikola Motors, they're all making the giant trucks. The trucks are cool, but no one has really thought about making the smaller logistic vehicles, the last mile logistic vehicles. Trucks, you can't actually drive them into small neighborhoods. That's impossible. That's why you don't see a giant semi truck in your neighborhood unless someone is actually moving. You can clearly see these little like areas right here are docking stations for the electric trucks. Unload the goods. You put on electric vehicles for the last mile logistics. And this is why workhorse stock is really good. They're really specialized in this department. If you want to take a pretty big gamble in the electric logistic industry, definitely go for workhorse. Next up is Shill. Now, toward its acquisition, they're merging with Hylion, which so far it's not looking so good, especially the stock did go up from $10 all the way to $33 and has dropped to $18. It's pretty painful. I've seen a lot of you guys did buy Shill at around $27 to $26. I really do feel like this company should definitely go up, especially how Hylion, they are coming out with their own truck, which is this one right here, their own electric powertrain. And this is pretty big. This is the hybrid electric vehicle which is pretty baller and nothing about hylion is if you don't really want to buy their truck you could always put a old diesel truck into their facility they will charge you thirty nine thousand dollars and they will turn your old diesel truck into a brand new hybrid truck it's half electric half diesel they'll simply add the parts in which is really big and the reason why i like hylion it's, it's very different from tesla semis which start at one hundred fifty thousand dollars, the nikola motor trucks which start at around two hundred thousand dollars the hylion trucks are pretty cheap and if you want to convert your old diesel truck to a hybrid truck to save a lot of money on diesel fuel they only charge you thirty nine thousand dollars which is super cheap I've seen a lot of logistic companies wanting to renovate the whole fleet instead of buying brand new electric vehicles, which are way too expensive for these guys. So Hylion is doing really good. You can clearly see not only are they making and unveiling their own truck, they're also they're converting other people's diesel trucks to hybrid trucks. So it's really big. I say Hylion in a year or two would definitely be a major competitor in the trucking industry and the logistics industry. Most logistic companies right now, they have diesel trucks. We all know how expensive diesel trucks are. And if you convert the diesel trucks all the way to a hybrid half electric diesel truck, the drivers don't need any new experience and it's so much easier. You save a lot of time and money and maintenance fees with this. So, so far, Hylion's at $18, so it's on an absolute sale. I really do feel like once the EV hype starts going back up again you will be seeing all these electric vehicle stocks going back up as well and so far the market cap is less than a billion dollars once they start cranking out cars the whole reason why they're not big enough is they haven't received any large amount of orders for the vehicles once they do and once logistic companies start noticing that hylion is the much cheaper alternative compared to nickel motors and the tesla semi this stock will definitely blow to the roof Last up is Neo. This is by far my favorite car companies out there besides Tesla because they actually manufacture a lot of cars. They're mostly selling cars in China, which has a 1.3, 1.4 billion population, which is more than the US, Canada, and pretty much Europe, I think. And so far, if you pretty much dominate the Chinese market, you're dominating like a large portion of the world's population. So far, NEO did go from a literal penny stock of $3.30, went all the way up to like $16. Now it's at $12 and it could be a major buy. I'm honestly scratching my head thinking about whether or not I should get this car or not. And so far, the NEO stock is doing pretty good. I mean, the cars look really good. Too bad they don't really sell them in the US. They only sell them in China. They're trying to open a few more factories in China. And they're also thinking about opening up factories in Europe and maybe someday in North America. NEO also has about a few hundred employees in America. 
So they also want to be going to the U.S. market. Not only will that improve the overall stock, the valuation will add competition to electric industry, but NEO will definitely create a bunch of jobs. They got an EC6, which is really nice. They got an ES8, which is kind of like this bigger SUV vehicle. Cool thing about NEO is if you look at the front grille, they have their own unique design. I say they're the Tesla of Asia and they're the electric Range Rover. The ES6 is also pretty awesome as well. It's more of like a SUV type of car and it's pretty nice. It's pretty big. Even a lot of my friends said the NEO cars do look pretty good. They deliver about 10,000 vehicles in quarter two, which is very little compared to Tesla's 88,000 deliveries. But keep in mind that they are a smaller company. They're six years Years old and if you deliver 10,000 vehicles in one quarter for such a young electric car company I say that is pretty phenomenal especially how you have so many other electric car companies which are all talk and they don't sell any cars so Neo's gonna be pretty big and I will be making a few videos talking about Li Auto Li Auto is another Chinese company that will be going public about late July that's gonna be really big Li Auto is a Chinese electric car company and they probably could be the next NEO. Who knows? Because NEO's market cap right now is $10.68 billion. And this is going to be really big. I feel like the market cap actually justifies the amount of cars they sell. I feel like if NEO actually starts expanding to Europe and also other areas around the world, especially with EV sales rising rapidly every single year, their stock is going to absolutely go through the roof. $12 right now, maybe in five years, this could be $50, $70, even $80. Who knows? Neo's gonna be really big, especially how they do make a lot of cars. And their services are pretty awesome. They offer phenomenal customer service. And their overall vehicles are pretty hype and pretty cool. Got their own autopilot system. If you're pretty much stranded on the road, they'll actually send an electric vehicle to charge it up for you. They have a battery swap program, which swaps a battery for less than three minutes. Also, regular charging stations for a house, commercial areas, and also parking lot. So it's pretty big, and these are pretty much my favorite electric car company stocks out there. Tesla is by far the number one. Next up is Neo, and then Workhorse, which is pretty much the only major guy in the last mile logistics service. They make these electric vehicles. And then lastly, you've got Hylion. So far, the stock is not doing so hot, but if you really do believe these half diesel trucks could be the future, then definitely buy in. Keep in mind that Hylion is not gonna succeed in the far, far future by making hybrids. In about five to 10 years, maybe 10 to 15 years, the majority of the trucks and vehicles on the road will be purely electric. Keep in mind that Hylion with their diesel hybrids and stuff like that, it's not super revolutionary. It is pretty good and you do make a lot of money in the short term by turning diesel trucks into half electric trucks, but Eventually, those will also be replaced with purely electric vehicles. And Hylion is showing no interest in making fully electric vehicles just yet. So that is a little bit worrisome for a lot of consumers. The whole reason why Hylion has dropped more than Workhorse, Neo, and also our good boy Tesla is because no one really sees a major future for hybrid diesel trucks. So definitely keep that in mind. If you want to invest in Hylion, be a little bit careful. In the short term, I feel like the stock should be doing pretty well. By short term, I mean two to three years. That's about it. Thanks for watching.